Princess Twilight Sparkle, the first episode where we get to see Twilight Sparkle as a princess. Not counting Quest of Your Girls because that's a movie that had nothing to do with the show. Well, it kind of, but not to the plot. Anyway, this episode starts with Rainbow Dash giving Twilight Sparkle flying lessons, and she isn't doing very well at it. Princess Twilight obviously isn't comfortable with this since she really doesn't like that she's now a princess, kind of like in the Quest of Girls. She really doesn't like how things are going to change from now on since she isn't a student to Princess Celestia anymore. However, Princess Celestia is completely thrilled about this since this is the first time that Princess Twilight is going to be with her and actually helping her reunion with Princess Luna. And I will admit, it's a very great scene for what they're doing. Anyway, after this, Princess Twilight gets a letter. Obviously from Pinkie Pie. Really kind of nice, except that she might miss one of her friends. Anyway, the vines are completely taking co is completely causing a lot of havoc in Cantalot, but we don't know that yet. Anyway, let's get to Twilight again. The sun and moon are completely out at the exact same time. Very unusual, which means that daylight and nighttime is right now. And obviously everyone is expecting Twilight to do it. However, Twilight isn't really ready for that kind of stuff since she really doesn't know what to do. Meanwhile, animals are completely in Flash Eyes Cottage because they're completely afraid of what's going on. Obviously the black vines. And so is three apple echoes. Rainbow Dash tries to stop a cloud but completely fails. And, and so is Rarely, which makes her match completely out of control and completely dysfunctional. Twilight Sparkle tries to get to them, except that her flying skills isn't really the best. Obviously, since her flying skills isn't really that impressive, she's a starter, obviously. Anyway, she managed to get to her friends, but things get even more and more worse. The other three forests is completely out of control and Princess Twilight doesn't know what to do since this is a very difficult task for her. Especially that Princess Celestia and Luna are completely gone missing, which means it's up to Princess Twilight to do this alone. Just like the other times, she's always right in situations and blah blah blah. Oh boy, I feel bad for her, but she is obviously a princess and she has to go through this so many times later in the series. Twilight is suspicious about this so she obviously go gets Discord because he's pretty much the one who's causing most of the chaos. Anyway, we get Discord and obviously they do not believe in Discord that he really didn't do anything at all. But apparently he did, but Flash Eye completely defends him. I get the relationship, but I still do not like it. Uh, I get that have new friends but keep Discord came after this episode one and a half year later, but still. Uh. Anyway, Sikora completely gets out of every force and Twilight needs her help. Sikora gives Twilight a potion. And she tricks the potion and she sees basically that Princess Luna and Celestia are going against each other. Oh my god, that is so great. This is pretty much one of my favorite things in this season premiere. Even though that it really didn't happen in this episode. Anyway, Dark Moon was about to take control of Princess Luna, which means that she's completely back to Nightmare Moon. And oh boy, what a great ending to the first part of this premiere. Nightmare Moon completely takes down Princess Celestia, and she does this. She used the elements of Harmony to take down Princess Luna, and Nightmare Moon is completely gone, which means that she's going to be missed forever, which is another thousand years. And that's how the potion wears off. So Koi lets try to drink another potion, and she says this. By the way, Discord is just videotaping this entire time. Supposed to be funny, but I found it awkward. Obviously, Discord caused the trouble. 
You wanna know why I do not like this Kyoto? Because after the second season premiere, she just gets out of control and doesn't learn his mistakes at all. <sighs> I know that the ponies appreciate him later, but still, this is taking a little too far. What we get to see is that they go to the crystal cave, which means that the elements of harmony are there. Yep, this is the tree of harmony in the Everfree Forest. And I will admit, it's actually kind of great to see this for the very first time. And this also shows why Princess Luna and Princess Celestia are completely away from the main characters. A very great thing to show. Anyway, they try to go to Everfree Forest to stop this madness. But apparently Princess Twilight... But Princess Twilight doesn't want to help because of everything of what's going on and how her future is going to be. A very great scene. I'll get to more of this later. She does the right decision of helping her friends so she can stop Everfree Forest from making these disasters again. And obviously they're not getting along without Twilight. But apparently Spike managed to get to the main five as possible and she tells everything of what's going on with Twilight Sparkle. She completely gets knocked out from the vines, but apparently the other characters managed to save her. They use the elements of harmony to stop the vines, and they managed to do it. Which means that Princess Celestia and Yuno is completely safe and sound once again. And then, there's a treasure chest that is completely unknown of what's inside there. Which will we get more on that later in Season 4. So, that's basically how the episode ends, with, with the ceremony between these three characters. This premiere was pretty decent and pretty good. I kind of like the first part better than the second part, since Twilight isn't a, being prepared for being a princess let. This premiere isn't one of my favorites. In fact, Season 2 still tops it a little bit, but I still like it for what it is. As for the characters... It's basically what princesses are going through. And I can understand that she really kind of feels bad that she doesn't get to hang out with her friends that much since she really did everything before this episode. But I still can't understand where she's coming from. And as for the other characters, I kind of like the relationship between Luna and Celestia. Even if they got trapped because of the vines in Everfree Forest, I can still see the relationship between the two more better than the first season premiere because of the potions that Twilight drank was really great and one of my favorites. And as for Discord, uh, he's the one who caused havoc. I just don't want to say it. I still do not like this character. I tried to get into his character a little more, but I still couldn't. I still prefer him as a villain. You see, in his appearance, he was more messy, kind of, but after that, he just isn't the same anymore. I know I'm a brony almost a year ago, and this all happened way before I know of the show, but still. Anyway, this premiere was pretty good. There may be some problems in this premiere, but it's still pretty good. I still prefer the other premieres. It's not terrible. It still has some great scenes in it. The characters may be executed good instead of some characters, but I still kind of like how this episode is going through, especially with Princess Twilight's future. And when I get to the fourth season finale, I'll probably talk about more on the episodes where the characters get the the rainbow connection. I know I did talk about one episode about Flush Eyes, but I didn't talk about that. When I get to the last episode of the rainbow connections, I'll talk about all those scenes in that review. I give this premiere a 7.5 out of 10. I'm Lonely Fanboy Foley here, and I'll see you more with My Little Pony Marathon later this time.